popular with teens, a way to look cool and be hip, make a hole in the ear, sometimes stretched a half inch or wider. It's called gauging. But some hipsters are finding gauging and the workplace don't mix. They had like two inch plugs. They had surgery and got them put back together. Technical worker Jeff Jower isn't ready to dump his statement plugs, but he says plenty of his friends are getting rid of theirs because with the showy ear holes, it can be tough to find work. Did they find that it was hard to get a job with, with the gauges in? Uh, yeah, some places. Uh, you, you can't have them in certain areas for hazards. Experts say what seemed like an interesting rebellious decision in youth is leading young professionals in droves to plastic surgeons for an earlobe repair when they run out of other options. You either have to keep wearing the gauge, which can be not appropriate, uh, or to take it out, you just have that completely collapsed skin, which is very unattractive. Plastic surgeon Dustin Reed, who practices in Austin, is seeing an uptick in earlobe repairs, even though he says it can be a tricky reconstruction. Each one is different. You, you have to be very creative with how you're going to reconstruct this earlobe. Fortunately, almost always, there's enough tissue there to, to reconstruct an earlobe. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to numb up the ear. It isn't just youngsters. Women whose earlobes have become longer, thinner, or even ripped with age are also getting repairs. Kristen Christofuli is having her earlobe sewn back together after it tore through five years ago. She says it happens to busy women. Especially moms when you wear <laughs> big earrings and the kids just grab a hold of you and rip it. And sometimes the fix doesn't actually even require surgery. Say you have an earlobe like mine, it kind of tips over a little bit like that when you put in an earring. Well, that can be fixed in a simple way without surgery using a filler. I use a little bit of Juvederm. If they want to try that, they can plump up their earlobe pretty safely. It's an off-label use of the product, but the patients agree to it. They understand the safety of it. And then we just put a little filler in. That works beautifully for a lot of patients with their diamond studs. New Jersey plastic surgeon Caroline Glicksman also insists that patients find someone reputable to do the next piercing. So the patient isn't back to square one. I re-pierce them. I don't let them go to Claire's. Okay, so I really want to repair my own earlobes. You don't want to get re-pierced and they, sometimes they'll put the hole right back at the top of the old repair and the patients will come back and say it ripped again. Whether it's going from a gigantic gauge to none or repairing a rip, experts say now hear this, you don't have to live with ears you don't love. Don Tongish for the Plastic Surgery Channel.